By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a custom Hypnoize preset on your avatar that doesn't already have a preset. So to get started, we're going to be working with the calibration material. And to find it, let's go into Value Factory, Hypnoize 3, Materials, Examples, Calibration. I'm going to select it and press Control D to make a duplicate of it. Now we're going to be putting this on the material slot of your avatar that you want to create a Hypno preset for. In my situation, I'm going to be putting it on the eye specular right here on the eyes itself. So let's go ahead and drag the duplicate calibration into eyes. As you can see, the eyes have already changed in what they do. So now in the calibration material, let's go to quick setup, manual positioning, and find the first eye and press pick center right here. It's going to open up a UV center picker utility. There are two ways we can go about this. We can generate a UV wireframe from a mesh, or we can use a texture that contains uh, the eyes, for example. In this situation, I'm going to be using the UV wireframe from mesh because it's a bit more versatile. So let's use that. Let's go ahead and find the mesh of the object that we want to um, create a preset for. So in this case, it's going to be the body here because the eyes are on the body. So let's click on the body. Let's find the mesh and click on the mesh. And then it's going to select the mesh for us that we can take and drag into the mesh field right here. It's going to generate a wireframe of the zeroth material slot right now. And if we take a look at the skin mesh render here, we have our calibration on the second material slot. So let's set the material slot to two and let's select the UV map channel. Currently, we only have one UV map channel, so this is what we're going to be keeping it at. But in case we have your own uh, custom UV unwrap that you've made, you want to set the UV channel to be the one that your UV unwrap is on. So in our situation, it's just going to be UV0. And now we can go ahead and select the other centers. So if you click on this, you'll see that one of the eyes is now changing and it's appearing, right? And the way you kind of want to line this up is pretty much so that the uh, the center of the dot here, this, this, this black dot, is pretty much the center of the pupil of the actual eye. So if we revert that, we kind of want it like right there. So a little bit over to the left there. That should be about right. We revert this. Yeah, that's about right. That looks good. Now let's go ahead and do that for the for the other side as well. So we go back to our calibration. And because this is using two eyes, as you can see, there's two spheres here, two circles. We're going to need to set the eye count to two. Now for you, it might be that there's only one eye or maybe more than two eyes. It really is going to depend on uh, how your avatar is set up. And so now let's go ahead on the other UV center and pick center again. And do the same thing, but for the other circle here. And again, we need to kind of make sure that they're like synced up now and symmetrical. And to help me do that, I'm going to go into orthographic mode by pressing this little cube here, pressing on an arrow and then pressing on the arrow that is in the direction of where the avatar is facing so that we have a, um, you know, uh, a full frontal view of the avatar's eyes. And we can go ahead and click on this and kind of adjust it until it looks about right. And I'd say that looks about right. Okay, now we can close this UV center utility. So we've picked our centers, but now we need to calibrate it. And the way we do this is we need to scale and rotate these centers to kind of make them uh, yeah. consistent across each preset. And the way we do that is just adjusting these scale rotation parameters. So the first thing we're going to be looking out for is this green region here. We want it to be pretty much the size of the pupil of the avatar itself. So in our situation, it's going to be around this big. OK, so we want to adjust the scale of this calibration now to be to make it around that big. I'm going to do 2.5 there, I think, on both of these. Yeah, it looks good. It's going to be 2.5 in this material. And that, that looks good for the scale. Now let's adjust the rotation, make sure that, you know, the right arrow is pointing to the right and the up arrow is pointing to the up. You know, we don't need, really need to change this. I think this is perfectly fine. Same thing here. We don't need to rotate it, but this is mirrored. It's flipped sideways and we need to fix that and the way we can do that is by inverting one of these scale values here on the right uv center if we invert the y if we make a negative it's going to flip it upside down so we don't want to do that but if we invert the x it's going to flip it sideways and that's exactly what we need and now as you can see both of the eyes both of the rights are pointing to the right and both of the ups are pointing up that's perfect that's exactly what we want now we can go ahead and save this preset so let's click save preset see my mano kit and click save now, if we go into custom presets, as you can see, we have our mano kit preset. And now we can just go ahead and use any of the presets we, we, we have. So for example, one of the law color ones, let's just drag that on there. 
of the sensory setup. Let's drag the, the blue one, for example, and then click on the My Mano Kit preset here. And as you can see, it's going to be using our preset. Awesome. And of course, if you want to share this preset, you can go ahead and click this Copy to Clipboard option, and it'll copy this preset into a clipboard, which then you can share uh, with other people, including us on our server. Uh, we have a whole uh, forum there if you want to share your UV centers, and uh, they'll likely get added to the official uh, Amateurs presets list here. And yeah, if you want to paste it, just click the paste from keyboard button right here, like that. And yeah, that's about it. Have fun.